Uh, good afternoon, uh, and, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Hey Josh, What's Drinking? Josh. Uh, hey Josh, What's Drinking? Well, let's see. I was, I, it was my birthday last month, um, January 15th, and my good friends, uh, Don and Wendy, they gifted me, well, several uh, cans and bottles, but this is one of them from, uh, uh, Bridge Brewing in North Vancouver. Kind of cool. It's a uh, bourbon, blood orange, wheat beer. Um, yeah, this is kind of cool. It, not sure what to expect from this. I mean, it's a wheat beer, so I'm expecting it to be... Uh, should have the that wheat beer... Uh, 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 how would you say maltiness to it? That, that almost uh, bready kind of dough-like maltiness to it. With uh, I would expect uh, somewhat moderately hoppy and uh, fairly carbonated. Uh, but then again, with the addition of bourbon and blood orange, not sure what to expect here. So. Um, Ridge Brewing Company, North Shore, Vancouver. Oh, I like this. It it actually uh, lists what it's brewed with. This American wheat ale is zesty and floral with clean citrus flavors brewed with the addition of bourbon and blood orange. The taste of the Deep South is ideal for any day. Sounds like fun. But what I was saying is, look, it actually has all what's brewed with. And... and you see the, you see the uh, wheaty sediment kind of in the bottom there. Uh, oh, I see it, it actually has the types of malts that it's uh, uh, brewed with. Pilsner malt, wheat malt, Munich malt. So very pale. Uh, caramel malt you know, a little, for a little color and flavor. Crystal malt. For, for just, and it has... Magnum, Magnum and Cascade hops. Uh, I don't know about Magnum hops, but Cascade hops almost always give a, a very um, uh, uh, piney kind of floral, earthy kind of bitterness to it. Uh, and Blood Orange bourbon actually has bourbon in it and uh, American ale yeast. Five and a half percent. Pretty stoked for this. Uh, thanks for thanks to Don and Wendy for gifting me this for my birthday. Okay, it has pouring instructions. Pouring instructions too. Pour it out, swizzle it around, pour the rest out. Okay, let me grab my handy uh, dandy cup. Cool. Oh, that smells nice. Mm. It's it doesn't have a very wheat beery fl fl uh, aroma to it. But then you get that whiskey smell off it too. That's really nice. Okay, let's pour it out and see. Uh, oh, look at the color on that! Now that is. That is an orange beer. Well, I would. Okay, and then it says, give it a swizzle. Pour the rest out. Now that is a full cup of beer. Look at that. The color on that is beautiful. Uh, you, the video doesn't do it justice, but when the, the light is shining through the bottom of my cup here and showing the, the color, it, it's it's so it's so pretty. Okay, uh, so again, it's, it does have that somewhat orangey, citrusy aroma to it. I would guess that's from the the, the blood orange, and then it and then the the, the whiskey kind of aroma to it too. That's it's really kind of cool. Uh, so if I had if I had whiskey and I had a little bit of orange zest and stuff in there, sweetened up, that, I mean, that's almost an old-fashioned, isn't it? 
So I should have just called this a old fashioned. Anyway, let's give it a try. See what a see what we're in for. Take another look at that. That's really nice. That is a really nice color appearance on that beer. The uh, the carbonation on this is is so yeah, it's nice. It, it's just it's is it's so aesthetically pleasing. I don't almost don't want to drink it. Anyway. Hmm. That is really kind of cool. Now, if I didn't know this was a wheat beer, I would not know this is a wheat beer. I would definitely assume that it was a a, a highly hopped uh, uh, ale. Um, the orange, the or the the addition of the blood orange, definitely. Uh, kind of masks the fact that it, it's not as highly hopped, but if I didn't know that it had the orange in it, I would just assume that it was uh, more hops, or more highly hopped. And the, the whiskey, the addition of whiskey just kind of makes it more malty, like whiskey malty. This is really interesting. The, the the way that it crosses uh, uh, style boundaries is just um, quite brilliant, actually. That's what a great idea. What? It's got a nice, it's got a nice malty sweetness with none of the, the, the characteristic wheat beer kind of. Um, uh, of flavors would be uh, much more pronounced um, um, fruitiness, almost um, the, the the banana characteristic that is kind of typical of wheat beers, and that uh, what would you say a uh, uh, Belgian yeasty, uh, spicy, clovey, uh, somewhat kind of dank kind of wet blanket kind of aroma. This is really nice. I, I, I'm quite impressed with this. Um, so I'm going to Ridge Brewing, uh, blood bourbon, blood orange, wheat beer. I like it. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to do the things, and if you would do the things, please, with the uh, the likes and the the uh, subscribes. And, of course, up here is the uh, the, the link to the socials. Uh, I'm trying to uh, be more active on on the uh, Insta and the TikTok to, to, to kind of filter people to the, the, uh, the YouTube, but also the content over there is... is is kind of cool too. Uh, there's more interaction, seems to be more interaction between uh, uh, other creators over there. So anyway, uh, I like it. Give it a try if you can get your hands on it. When in North Vancouver, all right. Cheers, everybody. Have a good day.